today we are overtaking Newcastle United for the next 10 seasons to see how they will fare on the takeover leaderboard. Just a little bit of a reminder of how the points tally works. You get 5 points for winning the UCL, the UEFA Champions League, the big one. 3 points for winning either the Europa League or the Europa Conference League. Also 3 points for winning your domestic league. In Newcastle's case, of course, the Premier League. And finally, you get one point for winning any other cup competition. Like in this case, the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, or even the Super Cup, the UEFA Super Cup, or the Community Shield. Right now, Spurs are atop the leaderboard, ahead of Barcelona and Bayern. So let's see if Newcastle United can switch it all up, change it all up a little bit. We have got a very interesting squad on our hands, some very talented players like Hall who is only 19, he may get loaned out for the first season or be a backup, Trippier is the captain, he's already 33. We have clear weaknesses at right wing and left back so they need to be addressed, even though Hall is a big talent but as I said he will need more game time, he's not high enough rated. Kimaraj, Donali and Joel Lindner, very good midfield, Isak a top striker, Gordon a very talented and already very good left winger. We already have the perfect right back at the club to replace Kieran Trippier down the line. For now, Tony Livramento is still on the bench, but that will change after uh, some, of course, years, a couple of years, I do presume. Some players I want to get rid of because the squad is very, very big. Older players, like uh, three goalkeepers here on the reserves. Lascelles, the centre back, I want to get. Uh, I'm gonna want to get rid of. Just like Almiron, who is already 30, and Hayden, 29, not very highly rated. I have chosen a wing play tactical vision for Spurs for the 10 seasons. Newcastle United are the richest club in the world in real life, but it really doesn't reflect on the budget. We've only got about 85 million, and our first signing of season one is a Japanese winger. From Real Sociedad, it is Takefu Zakubo coming in for 54 million plus Miguel Almiron, who has been swapped out. I'm also setting up a youth scout for six months going to England. It is Robert Newman, a five-star, four-star scout. We have gone on and sold a whole heap of players like Emil Kraft to Brentford for 3.2 million, Jacob Murphy to Wolves for 10, Jamal Lascelles goes to West Ham for 5 million. Matt Target to Torino for 4.7 and the big one, Callum Wilson, we will need a new backup striker, he was already 32, goes to Atalanta for 30 million. Bringing our budget back up to 101 million, a very big budget where we can do two more transfers because of course in the series we have three transfers available to us. I have decided to go in for a great striker who is already 36. He will be chopping and changing with Isak. Of course, soon we'll go down in overall. A Ballon d'Or winner at Newcastle. He comes in, the Frenchman. It is Karim Benzema from Al Ittihad. He comes to the Premier League at the end of his career. As a third and final player, I have basically decided to steal one from Bayern Munich. A player who was connected and meant to go to Real Madrid. He hasn't decided on his future yet in real life, but here he comes to Newcastle United for 36 million. It is the Canadian left back, Alfonso Davies. We still have an array of goalkeepers that I just couldn't sell, Rudy and Gilles Spy, as well as Dubravka, who um, is the backup goalkeeper, but he's already old. We, of course, looking at the starting 11, have added Karim Benzema, who is one higher rated than Isak. Of course, Isak will get his game time, for sure. Trippier is the captain still for this season at 33. We've added Takefu Zakubo at right ring, he's 23, 81 rated. And finally, at left back, of course, the 23-year-old, 82 rated. Big man for present and future, Alfonso Davies. I've also switched Bruno Guimaraes position back to a centre midfielder from a CDM. He stays at an 87. At the end of the transfer window, we've actually managed to sell both Dubravka and Hayden. This one with Newcastle United is done and dusted and we finish in 4th place, 70 points. Manchester City are the champions 
Without a single loss. 32 wins, 6 draws, 0 losses, 102 points. The FA Cup goes to City as well over Chelsea. Here we've been knocked out in the semi-finals by Man City. And Man City do the domestic treble, defeating Arsenal 2-0 in the Carabao. Here we've been defeated by Leicester in the quarterfinals on penalties. New man Takefusa Kubo has been the superstar of this team. 34 goals, 6 assists, 18 for Gordon, 9 for Guimaraes, and only 9 for Isak. What has happened there? No points in the first season, however, we have qualified for the Champions League in Season 2 with the richest club in the world, at least the richest owners in the world. Both Denburn as well as Kieran Trippier are going to retire at the end of Season number 2, so we'll need to replace those two. Our first signing of Season 2 is a new goalkeeper. Nick Pogue is already 33, 84 rated. This man is an upgrade on him and he's 9 years younger. At Liverpool, he's only second fiddle to Alisson. It is Georgi Mamardashvili joining us for 100 million. What a price for a goalkeeper. Just to get in a few funds, we have sold Odysseas Vlachodimos for 3.5 million to Union Berlin, the backup goalkeeper, as we've now sold, uh, signed Mamardashvili. Second and final signing of season number two with our last funds that we had available to us. We sign a new centre back, as of course Burn is retiring. Shar is going down in overall as well. Namely, the Italian centre-back Alessandro Bastoni coming in from Inter for 100 million plus Lloyd Kelly. That centre-back partnership, Bastoni and Botman BNB, will be the one for years to come probably. Trippier gets re replaced with Livramento, he's also the right back for the future. The back line is looking absolutely fiery, with Mamardashvili going into the net. Tonali, Joel Linton and Guimaraes, fantastic players, as well as the front three consisting of Gordon, Isak and Kubo. Isak we now done and dusted and we win the Premier League for the first time. 80 points, 3 points ahead of Manchester City. We are the champions, 3 points onto the leaderboard. Liverpool win the FA Cup over Manchester City. Here we've been knocked out by Liverpool on penalties in the semi-finals. We collect yet another point for defeating Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final. That is great to see. We finished in third place in the UEFA Champions League league phase. Zero losses. We went to the round of 16 to see us get knocked out by AC Milan though. That is not great on penalties as well. We are looking at 40 goals, that's what I was expecting from Isak. 40 goals from him, 31 for Kubo, 23 for Gordon and even 15 from centre midfield for Joel Inter. Very good season I would say, first league title as well as a Carabao Cup win, semi-finals in the FA, not bad at all. Kieran Trippier has retired and we have actually no backup right now at right back, so we have gone in for a free agent to start off this season. By the name of Murat Suleiman, an exciting prospect, only 18 years of age. We have, by the way, also found a couple of very interesting youth academy players, two by the name of Dobson, Louis and Tyler, both brothers, I presume. One is 16, one is 15. 56 overall, Louis Dobson is converting to a striker, 91 to 94 potential. I've also made a whole list of sales, Modrak. Miodrak Pivas goes to San Pauli in Germany. Jamie Miley goes to Danmark in... Um, where is that? I don't even know, guys. 1.1 million. William Ozula goes to Germany to Mainz for 7.2. And Sean Longstaff to Fulham for 17.3. Which means that with two transfers available still to us, we have 228 million. By the way, next season we will need a new backup striker as Karim Benzema is retiring at the end of the season. He's already 38, 78 rated. He's of course the understudy to Alexander Isak. As a second and probably final player of this transfer window, we go in for an absolute world beater at centre midfield. We have an ageing midfield. Joel Linton isn't really world class and so we upgraded that position. It is... Pedri joining us for 185 million from Barcelona. The big bucks have been paid by the Saudi takeover, by the Saudi ownership. We have Suleiman is sitting on the reserves at 1876 and Pedri is taking over at centre midfield 
from Joe Ellington. He is, of course, five ratings higher and six years younger. So that is an absolute no-brainer. Season 3 is over and once again we are the Premier League champions by a long way as well. 16 points out of Liverpool, 97 points, nearly Centurions. We don't win the opening game of the season, the FA Community Shield goes to Liverpool over ourselves. Man United win the FA Cup over Everton, 5-1 as well. We have been knocked out by Huddersfield Town in round 3, that was very early. And Arsenal win the Carabao Cup over Manchester City, we can't defend our title there. We have been knocked out by Arsenal, again early doors in round 4. In the Champions League, we finished in the top 8 of the UEFA Champions League league phase, 17 points in 6. Which means that we could go to the round of 16 immediately, where we defeated Sevilla 4-2 in the quarterfinals, so we got knocked out by Bayern Munich. Once again, we are looking at 34 goals by Isak, who is now 91 rated, or Gordon with 28, with 90 rated as well. 91 rated Takefusa Kubo, just look at those ratings, 25 goals for him, 14 assists and 7 goals for Pedri. We're also promoting Louis Dobson. The other Dobson hasn't really developed nicely, but this one is 17, 60 overall, 91 to 94 potential. He goes to the first team. Good season in the Premier League. Uh, three points there. No points in any other cup competition. But yeah, let's jump into season four. Season four is starting off with the purchase of an exciting prospect in midfield. Coming in from Manchester United at 18 years of age, it is Morgan Spencer for 25 million. Oh, hear me out, guys. I've just gone in for a new centre-back because Fabian Scher, our current rotational option, is retiring at the end of the season. I wanted to strengthen that position, so with a young player by the name of Juraj Jovanovic, maybe the Stefan Savic region, I don't know, coming in to Newcastle United. So now Jovanovic at 1877 and Spencer also 1877 are the only things that we are going to change. Nothing to be changed in the starting 11. Livramento still young and uh, very oh, developing very nicely. What I didn't think about, however, is that we don't have a backup striker at the club. And so to just compliment Alexandre Isag, I have gone in for a Portuguese 20-year-old. Maybe the Cristiano Ronaldo region, I'm actually relatively sure. Emilio Cruz from Al Riyadh in Saudi Arabia for 52 million. Cruz is going to take over on the bench from uh, Rops, uh, from Dobson, who will go out on loan. So we have really strengthened that bench, certainly in age. 18, two 18 year olds and a 20 year old at 80 overall. We've also sold both Alex Murphy for 3.5 million to Norwich and Joe Willock, who wasn't really of any use for us anymore. 26 million. Season 4 is done and dusted and we cannot repeat the Premier League trophy, the Premier League title win of the two previous seasons. This one ends in third place. Man City the champions ahead of Aston Villa. We do however collect our first point of the season, defeating Man United in the Community Shield. We've also won the FA Cup in a very, very close game in the final against West Ham on penalties 8-7. Rarely seen something like that. The Carabao Cup goes to Arsenal over Fulham. Here we've made it into the semi-finals before narrowly getting knocked out by Arsenal. We finished in first place in the UEFA Champions League league phase. Went to the round of 16 where we trashed Barcelona. But in the quarterfinals, we fell short to Milan. Being ahead, we were ahead, and then we lost. We shut the bat in the second leg. We are looking at 31 goals by Gordon, 30 by Isak, 26 by Kubo. Our front row line is working very well. Kimara is with 11 and 15, the captain. We are on 9 points after 4 seasons. One more season until we are at the halfway point. So let's see what we can do in that 5th season. Right now, we don't need, really need a lot of players, but I have found one free agent again. He's only 21, centre midfielder. He was approached by Manchester City, a Belgian. Maybe the De Bruyne region. I've decided to bring him in. It is Julien Michel, 21 years old, 82 rated already, centre midfielder. We have a lot of centre midfielders now in the squad, with Michel coming in, Miley coming back from loan, Spencer and Joel Linton. I will send, send one or the other on loan. But uh, I won't change anything in the starting 11. It's coming together very nicely. Very good team. 
a perfect front line, strong midfield, as well as a very steady back line with a immense goalkeeper in that 27 Season 5 is done and dusted and we have reclaimed our Premier League title. 93 points, only 3 losses, 15 points ahead of Aston Villa. In second, 3 points on 2, the leaderboard. We do in the 4th point of the season, defeating Manchester City in the FA Community Shield. The FA Cup, however, goes to Man United over Aston Villa. Whilst we've been knocked out early doors by Hull City a bit shamefully. We don't win the Carabao either as Arsenal win that over West Ham, while we've been knocked out by Brighton on penalties in the quarters. We finished in third place in the UEFA Champions League league phase, went to the round of 16 straight, where we defeated just about Juventus 5-4. In the quarters we defeated Aston Villa, but in the semis once again we fall short to AAC Milan for the second time in a row. Once again, Isak is at top of the leaderboard of the stats. 35 goals for him, 34 for Gordon, he's been such a cheat code as well. 21 and 14 for Kubo. He's more, concentrated more on the assist this season. 16 and 12 by 92 rated Gimaraj. And 7 goals even for Tonali from CDM. We have collected 4 points in season 5, 13 points after 5 seasons. The exact halfway point of the takeover. We need to step our game up in the second part. First signing of season number 6 is a new winger, because Harvey Barnes is getting on with age. He was the only replacement right now, he needed a new replacement. And so that's why I've gone in for the 19-year-old winger, Guillermo Miranda, Brazilian, coming in from Alcalage for 37 million, his contract was expiring. Now hear me out, the thing is, uh, right back backup Suleiman wasn't really developing nicely, so I've bought a new one and put Suleiman on the transfer list. This guy is 18 and already 82 rated. His name, Ander Aguirre from Leeds United for 29.6 million. Another player whose contract was expiring. And finally, a player I was willing to pay the big bucks for. A new centre-back, Fabian Schaar has retired. We only have three at the club. And I wanted to go in all in for a new starter, a regen. By the name of Karl Schneider, a German coming in for Manchester City for 125 million, a centre-back. And so as predicted, Muratsal Suleiman leaves us to Burnley, he's going for about 23 million. I'd say we've done a very good job building out the squad, also preparing it for the future. Aguirre is there at right back, 1882. Miranda on the reserves at 80 overall, still one lower rated than Barnes. And Schneider, I do believe, yeah, he's also going onto the bench. But what I've realized now is that we don't have a backup goalkeeper, which is bad. Which is really bad because we don't have any transfers left to us. But oh well, we have to get yes, on the Yes, champions of the Premier League, 100 points. Three points onto the leaderboard in Season 6. We've not won the Community Shield against Manchester United, losing 7-6 on penalties. Arsenal win the FA Cup over Liverpool. Here we've been knocked out by Man City in the round of 16. West Ham win the FA Cup, the Carabao actually, over Wolves. While still we've been knocked out by Wolves in the quarterfinals. We finished second in the UEFA Champions League league phase. In the round of 16 we though lost to Inter. That is not possible. We haven't reached the Champions League even the semi-finals just once. We have 42 goals for Isak, 28 for Kubo, but Isak is just on another planet. 22 for Gordon, 11 assists and 11 goals even for Captain Guimaraes. I mean, you have to say with the team we have built, we have to do better in the other competitions. We have won the Premier League by a long way as well. But uh, yeah, Ron Robin, the FA Community Shield, round 5 and quarterfinals of the Carabao are not good enough though. Starting off Season 7 with a new right winger, a backup one at that. From PSG, 21 years of age. By the name of Felipe Teixeira coming in for 77 million plus RV Barnes from PSG. The second player joining the club in this seventh season is a new centre midfielder. His contract was expiring, he comes from Werder Bremen. In real life playing for Spurs, it is Luca Bergwall for 61 million, coming into Newcastle United. And finally I had to play a release clause I had to pay a release clause to get in a backup goalkeeper, of course. The thing we needed the most right now. Very interesting backup goalkeeper Till Meyer, German, for 181 million coming in from Barcelona. 
We have then sold Joel Linton with now 33 goes to Manchester United for 35 million. And so this is how we are looking like. Meyer at the goalkeeping position on the bench. 22, 87 rated. We have Bergwall with 85 rated at 24. Miley has also returned from loan. He's 24, 83. With Teixeira also coming in. 85-21, we've really strengthened that bench with Bergwald Teixeira. Season 7 is done and dusted. Once again, we are the league champions. Three points onto the leaderboard. We've also won the FA Community Shield at the start of the season. Defeating Arsenal, getting yet another point. Liverpool defeat Bristol City of all clubs to win the FA Cup. Here we've been beaten by Liverpool in the semi-finals. The Carabao doesn't go to ourselves either as Man United win that over Spurs. While still we've beaten early doors. While still we've been beaten early doors by Manchester United as well. On penalties. We finished in second place in the UEFA Champions League league phase. Went to the round of 16th straight where we absolutely smoked PSG 5-1. In the quarterfinals that we got defeated by Juventus. Once again we are looking at an... Outstanding number of goals by Isak, 45, 33 for Kubo, 17 assists, 22 for Gordon. I mean, the front three is really coming together very nicely. All of them 94 rated. We have made 4 points in Season 7, 20 points after 7 seasons. There is still a lot of improvements in the finals, 3 seasons to make. It's Season number 8 that we only make one single transfer this season. A new young centre-back, 20 years old, already 82 rated. A very, very bright lad by the name of Richard Amos coming in from Arsenal for 57.5 million. That is because, on the other hand, we have sold Juraj Jovanovic, who hasn't really the best of possible growths. 33.2 million, actually. He goes to Chelsea, and we've replaced him with Richard Amos, who is an exciting prospect. And so this is how the team is looking like. A fantastic start in 11. Lowest rated is Livramento at 87 overall. All the others are in their 90s. Even the bench is great. 89 goalkeeper, 90 rated uh, center back in Botman. Take Zaira on the bench, Miley on the bench, Bergwald, Cruz. We uh, even have youth academy player Dobson who might get loaned out one more time. Amos is the here. End of season number 8 and our streak of winning the, pr the Premier League is over. Chelsea win it, 5 points ahead of us, no points there this time. We do however win the FA Community Shield over Liverpool at the start of the season. We also win the FA Cup a second point this season over Bournemouth. Man City win the Carabao Cup over Sunderland. Here we've been beaten early doors by Leeds on penalties in round 3. We just about finished in the top 8 of the UEFA Champions League league phase in 7. Went straight to the round of 16 where we defeated Leipzig. We absolutely ran riot with them as well. Quarterfinals, we just about sneaked by Real Madrid on penalties. And in the semis, we defeated Valencia to make our first appearance in the Champions League final against PSG. Who we defeat, absolutely smashing them 3-0. Our first 5 points this takeover. We are looking at our star player, Anthony Gordon. 36 goals for him. 49 contributions for Kubo, 20 goals for Isak, who, yeah, that was his worst season so far, I think. And best season for Pedri, who has scored 16 and 30. Dobson on loan for Arsenal has scored 16 goals. We haven't won the Premier League, but it's still our best season to date. Seven points, we haven't reached that before. We are on good terms right now, but we still have to make a lot of ground up in the final two seasons. Now, to start off season number 9, I've decided to give us more strength in squad F, in CDM, because we didn't have a backup over there. I have snuck Morgan Spencer in a swap deal for plus 74 million to get Frederick Pedersen, a Norwegian CDM, 23 years old. And so, with Pedersen going on to that bench, this is how the team is looking like. Pedersen, 23, 86. Uh, we have a very good bench, a very good reserve team even, with Bergwall on there. Pedersen sneaks onto the bench because we didn't have a backup to Tonali. However, guys, I have found an absolute superstar that waves out all of our budget. He's only 25, 94 rated from Barcelona. A centre midfielder that will replace Bruno Guimaraes. 
He cost us all of our budget. It is guys Becca Baca coming in for 300 million from Barcelona. We have then, of course, decided to sell one more player in Luis Smiley. A center, center midfielder goes to Bournemouth for 57 million. I have decided for now to put uh, Guimaraes onto the bench, Michel onto the reserves. They could swap around, of course, but Baca goes into that center midfield. The left one, left footed. 25-year-old, 94-rated Dutchman, uh, nine, fully 94-rated uh, striking uh, midfield force, 94-93-95 rated uh, front three. And then we have taken over English football again. 97 points, only one loss in season number nine. 97 points, incredible. We've also crushed Chelsea in the FA Community Shield 5-1 to make it 4 points this season. We don't win the FA Cup as Everton win that over West Ham. We have been beaten, oh no, by, uh, by, by our rivals. Our cross-city rival Sunderland 1-0. We do, however, win the Carabao Cup, defeating Man City to do, do it. However, the Champions League is where we can make the most ground up. Leipzig uh, win the group stage. We finish in third place, the league stage actually. In uh, round of 16, we got defeated by Bayern. Very early exit this time. On penalties as well, very unlucky. We are looking at 37 goals by Gordon, 31 by Kubo, 28 by Isak, who is going down even more now. 14 and 14 by our new superstar Baka. And even 10 goals for centre midfielder Pedri. We are looking at 6 points in season number 9, 33 points in total after 9 seasons. We have to make still the best of season number 10, even though we of course cannot topple, tot um, I think, yes, yeah, Spurs it is at the top of course of the leader, but we cannot topple them. I'm not changing anything around for the final season, this squad is near perfect. Cruz may go onto the reserves because Dobson is now much higher rated. Mitchell goes onto the bench, higher rated than Guimaraes. But otherwise, yeah, this team is fantastic. Let's see how we will fare in the final It's season. the final season and once again we are comprehensively the Premier League champions by 17 points out of Manchester City. We have lost the FA Community Shield to Everton, however. Southampton win a crazy FA Cup final over Leeds. What are those two doing in there? But oh well. We have been beat by Man City in round 4. And finally we back with another trophy, defeating Man City to win the Carabao Cup. In the Champions League we finished in 2nd place in the league phase, went to the round of 16 straight where we got knocked out by Roma. How is that even possible? We were ahead and then bottled it in the 2nd leg. We are looking at 46 goals for Gordon who has really delivered in that final season. 33 for Isak, 24 for Kubo. And even 12 and 14 for 95 rated Baka. The squad, the final squad of this team is absolutely insane. 95, 295 rated midfielders. 93 Tonali. A fully 90 plus rated uh, backline now with Livramento growing to a 90. 96 rated keeper in Mamardashvili. What a team. What a bench. So Newcastle United finished this takeover on 37 points. And are now, of course, the new rock bottom of this takeover. Although not a lot of teams have passed so far. But yeah, 37 points for Newcastle. We have still the leaders with Spurs on 61 points. 10 points of second place Barcelona. But lads, that is where we are wrapping up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider dropping a like on the video. Subscribing to the channel. I will see you in the next one. Until then, it's been Rebuild Sombrero, have a wonderful rest of your day, I'm out!